Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Factorio. So I am not happy with this. I think that I'm not, perhaps not, uh, not handling this as well as I could be. Because it seems like we're still, it's all like really backed up. I think we need to do some time try to figure out exactly how many of these we need. I just kind of laid out a few because why not. But um, yeah, so wait a minute. We worked out that we are producing 3.66 um, charcoal per second. And one charcoal becomes two solid fuel. If we can keep up the naphtha. Let's assume we can. So, that much solid fuel, soiled fuel. We're making seven solid fuel a second. That seems really a lot. I'm 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 not sure I believe it. Because that's quite a bit. And these are depleting very slowly. So maybe maybe I'm wrong. But um, if if we do have that much, how much would we need? How many of these would we need to burn? Them? Assuming that these are burning 100% of the time. So these consume 5.3 megawatts. So, well, let's, let's, let's see how much solid fuel, let's see, oh, I have some. Solid fuel is 25 megajoules. So we're actually producing 183 mega, megawatts of energy. And we said these consume uh, 5.3. Well. We would need 34 of these to consume all of that solid fuel. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I wasn't going to make that many more. <laughs> uh, well, I could see extending this to 16 and then doubling up again and have another 16 right next to it. Sure, we'll do that. I'm, I don't think we're going to have enough... Um, of this stuff to maintain that long term of the different fuels, the oil products. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's going through the the, the this really quickly, and we're actually not producing any oil at all at the moment. Why not? Something is not working. We are out of sulfuric wastewater. Okay, we're going to need to start getting rid of some stuff. Because it's this hydrofluoric acid that we want more of. But no, actually, that's not the problem. Hmm. Oh, I hate to just throw away all this acid we're spending all this energy making. Do I want to change it up? No, let's not worry about it. I'm not. I, I don't want to deal with this right now. We will. Um... Oh, it's frustrating. Like, what's the easiest way to turn sulfur back into sulfuric acid? Um, sulfuric acid back into wastewater. Because everything needs sulfuric um, acid now. Do I want to do this? I kind of really don't. Processing like slurry and stuff is part of it. Processing ethanol into ethylene. I don't think we can get ethanol flat out without making farming. Nah. It would be it's it's all this processing slurry. I think we're gonna have to hook up our out our, our um our mineral sludge production back into here. So we should probably make them adjacent. Like, I was thinking I'd start it down here, but we'll make it down over here instead. Mm. Let's plan this out, so at least we have... 
a length, right? So we'll have a similar thing right here. That'll probably continue on north. Can we just run the water across? I think we can. Let's do it that way. Ah. Uh, a little messy. So I want to balance, and then I want to um, split right there. So we'll balance. Little messy. But it should work. Ah, uh, suddenly we don't have any solid fuel. It, these do take a while to, to make the solid fuel. Yeah, we're out of naphtha, actually. We're out of all of these. Maybe I was concerned over nothing. It'll be fine again, though. Once we hook the sulfuric wastewater back into this, we'll have um, plenty. In fact, we might need to make CO2 or something just to make it work, which we can do very easily right here. Alright. So it's going to look like this, and we can actually work out the details, or finish populating it later. Yes, I did disclose that behind me. Like that? Yeah, that's nice and symmetric. Alright. Alright, so like right here. Oh, I should start laying out more concrete. Like I went da I went south for a long time, but it's over this way that we need to go. Let's see. We'll steal some of these. That was a lot of construction bots. So I've been agonizing over whether I'm going to um, make the sludge locally uh, or uh, have a centralized sludge production. And I think we're going to go with centralized. And really my main, the main thing that I was thinking would decide it is about uh, whether we're going to make it from slag or from geodes. Geodes are more complicated, this, so if we're going to do them well, we should have a large design. If we're going to do slag, we can just introduce that everywhere. So, I think we will go with geodes. So that means we should have a large, large area to work. That worked, right? 
It doesn't look like it did. Oh, it, it's connecting over to the... Um, No? They're probably both connecting to this thing, but not to... Not actually to the other... Well, why isn't that working? No, that's not working either. Hmm. That's really weird. Now it works. Sort of, kind of. Get some gems or um, some concrete going. Oh, I should put these all back. And sure, we'll play. We'll place this out somewhere. See, it looks like that disconnects it. Interesting. Let's put it on this side. That disconnects it from up there. Huh. Yeah, these don't play nice with the rest of the grid. Anyway, let's get some of this out. Oh, that's the wrong thing. This. I do like the concrete. I feel like it turned out to be a good choice to start placing it everywhere. We'll grab these. It has a noticeable impact on my ability to just run around. Okay, so I think we need to spend some time like mapping out exactly what we're doing. I want to get rid of that cliff if I can. It's kind of in the way. Where would that be? I would have thought it would be here. There. Cliff explosives. Which I don't have any of. Uh, we're making some way back in our old, old base. <clears throat> Let's grab things. Let's see. Sure, grab some of those. Uh, we're almost certainly going to need a bunch of these ore crushers. Like a ton of them. I think I'll make it out of red. We don't have blue yet, do we? No. We do. Should I make blue? It might be good to do make blue. I kind of like the idea. Hmm. Let's go set up some blue. And we'll need to... We'll need a bunch of barrels. Lubricant is just base mineral oil, right? 
and residual gas. Okay. So it's slightly more complicated. But I think we've got a ton of it somewhere. We shouldn't need any electrolyzers. That's like the way I mapped it out. We shouldn't need any. I want to make a point of not using longhand inserters. Even if it complicates our... Um, our belts. We have brass and invar, yeah. Yeah, when I when I spent like a few hours walking back and forth um, to pl place out more ground, it did uh, take up a lot of the landfill I would make. We could try to make these. The substations are so huge, thirty by thirty. Uh, we'll need some charcoal. I don't need that. I'll take those. Why aren't you building things? You ran out of... Uh, you ran out of, of iron. Should I add some sulfur in, probably. Yeah, in particular, I want to avoid something like this, where because blue is backed up, everything is backed up. This entire bank is stopped. I want to have one belt type, per, one cutter per belt. Is what I'm aiming for. <clears throat> uh, these. Okay. What's that ratio? It's one to one, so we don't have enough charcoal. But that's fine. Okay. This is a fast recipe, relatively. Alright, let's... What? To grab some iron? Let's see if this is sufficient or if I need a bunch more. I'm betting I need a bunch more. But hey, this is how we find out. Uh, I can put these here somewhere. So we got a bunch of seeds. Was that all the different types? Yeah, that's all the different types. So I could set them up to start um, reproducing more and more of the rare seeds. I should turn bots back on too. They're they're off for the same reason, the lack of lubricant. Yeah, look at this lack of power. Oh well. Um, what am I doing? I was gonna destroy the that cliff. 
See, it's different. The water is like you're placing them out, like like landfill. But this is this is um, it's like a throwing grenade. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's so much faster. Is that it? Looks like it. Wow, that's that gets rid of them real fast. We're not gonna need a lot of that. All right. Um, breaking forest. Why not? No, we can get do better. Stack and sugar bonus. Resin. More resin from a better way of getting resin, perhaps, or more chlorine. This is a way of turning limestone back into lime, or lime back into limestone. So we can then pull it out again and get carbon. Potentially. Next boilers? Sure, get that. We're already two behind, but that's okay. Um, let's get some base mineral oil. Wait a minute. No, we'll do it up here. I wonder if I should just make lubricant another product of that, of that down there. We could do it that way. Uh, I know there's somewhere where we're actually making... ...the lubricant directly. Maybe not. Maybe there's... it's only... Yeah, I, I, think, that, I think that's the case. We have the, we're bringing both products in. So we'll need to steal some lubricant or build it over there. I still have plenty of base of um, residual gas. Okay, let's go ahead and make lubricant down there. I know we've got residual gas, but we can make it at least. Yeah, we can make... no. We can turn base mineral oil into synthesis gas with a little bit of residuals, but I want like residual directly. Guess not. <laughs> you got this oil residuals thing. If I was gonna make lubricant, I should have made more room here. But I guess we could still like just have a thing right here. Need brick. Bring me some brick, please. If I have some, I, don't, I might not have any in my um in my network. Am I being delivered things? Ah, the bots are busy doing something. On the way, 50. Okay.
Come on, bots. So I think maybe we should not use this residuals unless we have like a lot of loot kit already built up. We don't even have a lot of base mineral oil. We could at any time, we could turn this all back on just by deleting one of these and putting it back here. They're on the way. All right, let's just let, let's just lay some stuff out. Uh, we need chemical plants. I guess we can put an overflow right here. Yeah, let's do that. So only when this is completely backed up will we allow some into uh, this refinery. Otherwise, we'll produce more residuals. It's... Ah, it's not that good. I'm wondering about whether I should try to get rid of these, place these. I think not. I think we'll just have an extra tank or two. Right here. Alright, and I wanna start flare I wanna start clearing away some of the sulfuric acid. Because we want I want things to go. So a condition for that. Mm, I'm gonna need to carry a signal. How many combinators want to make this happen? Let's see. I'm, I'm not actually that good at the circuit network stuff. We can play with it. Now it feels like this isn't full. So why is why aren't these outputting? No sulfur dioxide, no sulfur. Oh, because of course, yeah, this is the same issue, right? As these. We're gonna need to go get some more silver. 
with the sap. Okay, but let's still figure this out. It'll be useful later on. I'm I'm not sure how to do this. Let's just lay stuff out and we'll figure it out. So I want something. Like can I and them? How do I do that? I guess I could output like a number. I'll put the number one, and then then I could say if the numbers are all uh, well. Hmm. Okay. So we we let's say we're gonna make it negative. We're gonna make it a negative number. So we'll need an arithmetic combinator. Where'd I go? There. We're gonna store How many more of those? Sorry, this is gonna be me flying around with circuits the entire day, I can already tell. So we need a cider for the sulfuric acid. So this is gonna say if sulfuric acid which looks like that if that is this holds 124,000 if it's over a hundred um, well how am I gonna do this hmm If it's less than a uh, hundred thousand, if it's less than a uh, hundred and ten thousand, then output one. One what? Hmm. If sulfuric acid is less than 110, then... Okay, wait a minute. I want to say if it's if it's if it's less than that, I put the output negative one. If it's greater than that, equals positive one, or you output zero. Even. How do I do that? So if sulfuric acid is less than one ten. I'll put a box. Then multiply that box by negative one. So if it's uh, and it's still boxes. So if it's low, it's gonna output one. And then 
it'll be a negative one. It'll be so I've turned this so that's gonna be a negative one or a zero. Alright. Is that gonna hmm. negative a hundred. Let's just set it that way. So if I if it's if it's under the if it's under ninety percent, it's gonna be negative one hundred. Otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be zero. And now I can add my other conditions up, and if any of those other conditions are true, we'll output a number, uh, a number one. And then we'll add those up, add up all the boxes, and if the box count is negative, then go ahead and pipe some into being declared. I think that's going to work. So the things we're counting up are... Nitric acid. And we're going to say if that is less than 20,000. Then I'll put one box. And base mineral oil. Or hydrofluoric, I should do. If that's less than... What do we do, 20,000 or 10? 20. Then I'll put a box. And the base mineral oil. Kind of annoying that that blocks being able to walk past. But we can make it work. And then the lubricant. Okay. Let's hook it up. Red circuits. So that to that. And then all of these boxes. Maybe I should use green. So we don't. No, actually, this is fine. We just need to make sure to, to connect everything. Where are my reds? Now there. Bring this up to the lubricant. And then just hook these all to it.
So this is outputting 1. This is outputting negative 100 because we have... That's not right. It's greater than 110. It's 121. Is that the right thing? Sulfuric acid. Hmm. That is the wrong thing. How did I do? What, what's wrong with this? If it's greater than. Then it's outputting nothing. If it's less than. Oh, wait, no. If. Uh, no? Why isn't this working? Hmm. Do I not have a hook to that? I'm sure I do. Yeah, it's right there. <clears throat> I want it to I want it to be the opposite of how it is so if sulfuric acid is is less than 110 then we need to make more of it we don't want to spill any out we want to spill it out if we have a lot so if it's greater than 110 Why would this be? Is it the number? Because we have a lot, so. Mm, can I just see what's on my network? No. They're all outputting. They're all outputting, uh. Yes. When nitric acid is not below. No, oh, I'm missing something. I don't get this. These are not outputting the right numbers, I think. We'll have to add check valves or something. Because it can hold 125k, and it is. But I'm saying if it's less than 11k, then output, and it's outputting. Why would that be? If it equals, it's not outputting. If it's greater than, it's not outputting. Do I have the wrong number? If it's less than 125. It is less than 125. So it should be outputting, and it is. If it's less than 120. It is not, but it's still outputting. If it's less than 12, it is not. It's treating it as if it was zero. If it's less than one output, why would that... Hmm. All right, let me try experiment, experiment. Uh, I want to get rid of all the wires. Oh, wait, is there a way to do that? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe there is. Let me look at options. Keybinds. Keybinds.
wires. No. Cable. Remove pole cables. Shift left mouse. Don't work. All right. I wish I could just see what is being put on the wire right now. Cause I'm betting it's nothing. Maybe, maybe that's why I'm not seeing anything. Let's go ahead and build that check valve. And add that, and we'll see. So, connect that with red. Yeah! Okay, these are not outputting to the circuit network. That's irksome. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll just have to make some check things all over the place. So... We can still piggyback off this red wire we're using. We'll just have to hope it continues to not work. Otherwise, that'd be embarrassing. And potentially cause lots of, all sorts of problems. Uh, what am I looking for? The greens. Greens. They're not here. They're right there. So a check on the sulfuric. Check on the nitric, on the base, on the hydrofluoric, and then a check on the lube. Which we're going to have to bring down here anyway, so let's just go ahead and we'll make it be right here. If we're going to load onto a train eventually. Sorry for all the delays while I, you know, figure out how to play the game. So all these wires are useless. Wait a minute, now I can see it. I must have like a break or something. Because here it works. Here it does not work. I might be an idiot. That might be a problem. That might be the problem. I might just be an idiot. Let's go ahead and take all these off. Do this again. So these two are not connected. They're connected to this thing. I should have ran that through the through the pool just to make sure it worked. So put that there. Put that there. I think that's it. We just had different circuit networks when I thought we had combined. Okay, let's lay it all out again. So we were gonna do. Five deciders, and then an arithmetic, and then another decider. No, just an arithmetic. We'll do. Alright. So, this is going to be the weird one. So, here I... We're testing to see if it's... Uh, less than... 120, or 110, we said. And then this is gonna multiply boxes, boxes. Everything is in boxes now. By negative, negative 100. Uh, that's not right. We wanna, you know, it's it's right. That's right. Never mind.
Okay, this will be... Nitric acid. If it's less than uh, 20k. Output a box. Hydrofluoric acid. Base mineral. And lube. This might be a mistake to do it this way. We're going to throw away a lot of sulfuric waste or sulfuric gas. But oh well. So all of these are connected to this. This is connected. Uh, should we use a different color? We should use a different color. Just to keep it straight in my head. Although technically this this could why is this not outputting a signal? Oh, it's, it's not less than, so that's right. Alright. Then we want to add these all up, all those outputs. That's the input to this. And I want to do it if boxes is greater than zero, then flare. Because the nitric acid we can just not make. Like, this will stop. And, all the, and more sulfuric acid will then go on to be to making into lubricant. The hydrofluoric is linked to this. We have to make sulfuric acid in order to get hydrofluoric acid. The base mineral oil, well, both of these are kind of linked. But this is not linked to that. So we're flaring away sulfuric acid. It should stop when it gets to 110. Let's make sure it does. One oh nine. It's stopping, kinda. Oh, it's going up and down. Because these are all recreating all this. So it should stop because we're not creating the actual um hydrogen sulfide anymore. So this should reach a stable state. Except for, okay, it's just, it's just, it's just, uh, shifting around. Alright, that didn't fix any of my problems. Let's go get some silver. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I was gonna make some, get some lube, right. Which is a little unfortunate. How are we gonna do this? Because we're not making much loot. God, that took a long time. Sorry. I didn't mean to spend the entire episode working out that out. I think we turned back on silver production back home. I think that's the only place we have silver going on. Way over here.
Uh, I should make more of those. Need the tin copper. I guess I could just grab a big chunk of tin. There. And copper. Make a bunch now, please. Uh. All right, silver. Eight silver. And this is not going anymore because of why. Is this full? No. No. That's it. Can't output any more silver. Sure, let's make another block for it. That's a good reason to not be outputting silver, because you have too much silver. Hey, here's a bunch of concrete. Is it anywhere near my my network? Probably not. No, we're nowhere nowhere close to it. I didn't mean to grab that. Let's see that there. Alright. Silver and aluminium. We'll grab some from other base. So we have eight and four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're almost at an hour. An hour without little accomplished. I mean, my goal was to get lubricant, and we have lubricant, a little tiny bit of it now. But it it seemed kind of it could have been better. We have lubricant. Sitting, uh, um, do we have aluminium sitting over here? I know we searched for gold. No, we don't. More tungsten than I thought, though. That's cool. Ah. Uh. Just what I wanted. But that's worth paying attention to. I was thinking that this was kind of a process that didn't really have much of an impact. Like I could run, run the whole acid factory separate from everything else. But it's not. It has to uh, have these catalysts supplied. We should work out how we're going to get it here. While we're here. So. Bit of a mess, but we'll make it work. That's one place we need it. Where else? Right there. Anywhere else? 
way down there, perhaps? Nope, these don't need catalysts. This is separate. So at some point we'll be bringing this in by rail so we can just get over in that general direction for now. Should work. Get things moving again at least. Although this is working fine. We just don't need any more ammonia. Ammonia. Because we have so much nitric acid. Okay, these are all going again, producing the acid gas. How is this helping? Oh, now that we're now that we're doing that, we're going to be generating more sulfuric wastewater, which is the whole point of this. As long as this lasts, which won't be long. Yeah, I hate throwing away that much sulfuric acid, but in the name of load balancing, we'll, we'll do that. <clears throat> Alright, we'll continue this next time. I feel like we're making some progress. I thought this was done. I think it's done now, but maybe it's not. We're still not producing a lot of lubricant. It is concerning for me. But this is starting up again, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Till next time.